you allow Satan to talk to you, even five seconds, you are finished. He's a spirit being. You are in the flesh. He knows how to manipulate your thoughts. Because if you allow the tempter to be very close to you, and you are there, and God is not the one who permitted the tempter to follow you, you are on your own. But if the tempter follow you, and God permitted him to come to where you are, he will provide enough strength. In fact, it is not you who is going to talk to him or respond. It is God himself through his spirit. There are some of you who are sleeping with your bosses. They started from somewhere by engaging you in one way or the other. Every morning you are chatting with your boss. You know you can be promoted because you have surrendered yourself to your superior. And you are even boasting that God is great. I've been promoted. Look at you. The strength of every building starts with the foundation. If that promotion, the foundation is questionable, I don't know how you are going to enjoy the fruit of your labor at the end of your journey in that company. Because already the foundation is contaminated. Let those people hate you because of your stance. Let them promote their evil fellow and remain there. God Almighty is going to elevate you at his own time. When you see that this is temptation, you are a human being, rebuke temptation in the name of Jesus. When you see Satan are getting closer to you, oh, I can do this, I can do that for you, whatever you want, or you start eating things from someone you don't you know, even if she's a woman, she can, you know, drag you. Look at the dress code of our people, our young ones. When you go to town, if you are not careful, and Jesus is not part of you, you'll be going home as a, a scrap. What you can, you know, wear when you are taking a shower is what people are wearing in town. The more you are looking at these things, the more Satan is gaining ground. Temptation are representing what? Sin. When you see a tempter, know that sin is here present. And who is present when that thing is happening? Satan. Don't entertain the tempter. He means business. He is a killer. The way you look at people, this is your daughter in the Lord. You are a servant of God. You are a leader. You are an elder. There are people who are taking advantage of the situation that you are going through to start now destroying your life. Maybe it's a message. They will send a message. It is in our time where sometimes people can even capture their private part and send it to a, a, a man or a woman. And you are even looking at it. Are you normal? There are some of us who are HIV positive because of what? Food. There are some of us who are affected because of what? Employment. There are some of you who are regretting because of the way you started your journey. You did not wait upon the Lord. The tempter came to you to say, you'll be rich if you kill this one. You'll be rich if you go and see a witch doctor. You'll be rich if you use this thing. Today, you are regretting. Rebuke temptation. No one is strong when it comes to this. Temptation is not only in a relationship or sex. Even corruption. Because in our time, corruption, you know, has become now like the, the quickest way to become what? Rich. They will tell you to say, if we do this, we'll make this millions of watch. Are you going to say no? You are lenting. And if you pay attention to that idea, for one minute, you are finished. You'll be imagining now how you are going to build the house, the type of yoke that you, you buy, looking at the, the amount of money that will reach your hand, your relationship with Jesus becomes useless. You start in now entertaining what? Temptation. God has already prepared everything for you. But the tempter will take advantage of you, you know, your condition, the situation. If you are in a hurry, he will use that. Never you allow or entertain the tempter to be very close to you. Be original and be closer to God Almighty.